Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take off the extruder on GD Q2 3D Printer. Let's scratch to this topic. This video is sponsored by Scratch 3D Battery. If you haven't saw my review of the GD Q2 and unbox video, I'll leave a link up here so you can go and check it out for yourself. It was pretty amazing. The 3D printer is great and stuff like that, but unfortunately, I just got a clog and it couldn't print much. So in this video, I will show you how to take off the extruder on clog it so that we can get started with the next project. So let's go over to the 3D printer right now. All right, here we are. I'm gonna show you how to unclog GD Q2 3D printer or see what is happening because it cannot extrude anymore. In order to take this off, you have to use your fingernail, dig into the cutout right here and pull this out. Be careful at the top here because you don't want to break the cover here. Be very careful when removing this. Like I showed you on the other video, right here is very fragile and I think this part is going to be the part that's going to break first if you just dig it out. So once you have that off, we have access to the inside here. I'm going to show you how to take off the extruder right here. First of all, we need to take off four screws. So one screw back there. One screw inside here, one screw right here. So if we look at from the front, it's this one right here. They made a cutout for us, which is convenient. But before we take off any screw and take off the extruder, I highly suggest take off the pin here first or the wire here first because this is a short wire. And if you accidentally pull this, you might break this wire. So I recommend taking off the wire first. And now we can go ahead and remove all four screws. For this screw here, I cannot get it out because it is very deep in there. A trick is to use magnet. Use some magnet. Okay, it just dropped on the floor because these are not really magnetic. It's like it's not not really magnetic. So so once you have those four screws off, you can go ahead and take this out and look at what is inside of this extruder. Look at that. It has been grinding PETG filament. And stuff like that just oh my gosh this is a pretty simple setup as well right here is your filament tensioner um, maybe you can put a screw in here and release the tension a little bit maybe maybe not i'm not sure if that is possible but if we look here there's so many filament grinding and our tpu is stuck in here which is stuck in the extruder because i cannot spin this with my hand so that means that it is really stuck in there um there are two screws right here so what i'm going to do is take off these two screws as well they stripped out this screw from me oh my gosh you could probably have not taken off the extruder and just take off these two screws to see what's inside but if it's stuck like this and you cannot pull it out you kind of need to take off the extruder and pop one of these um gears out uh, so i'm going to release the tension here and then we'll pop out the gear just like so and look at that that is so nasty and the tpu inside there is all crumbled up oh my gosh the tpu in there the tpu in there is all crumbled up wow so you really cannot unclog this unless you pull out one of the extruder so this is still attached so what i'm going to do is just cut off the filament right here and I'm actually going to remove the coupler up here and just remove everything all like this. I'm going to clean up this right now so that it's going to work better. So what I think is if you take off this screw right here, this piece right here is going to come off. And I believe there is a small spring in there where if you push in the filament, it's going to hit the spring. And this is the filament detector. So if you take this part off, the spring inside might pop out or something like that but i don't want to deal with that so i'm just not gonna take this off and yeah this is a really simple design like most of the 3d printers so these are your filament gear right here is a gear that's gonna drive your filament gear and that is the motor gear up there driving this gear right here which drives your filament gear so it's a pretty simple setup but it's a really cool design if we look down there that's the PETG carbon fiber and it's all very nasty stuff like that. I'm gonna put everything back together and see if I can next you now. Let's click load. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, manual feed, blah, blah, blah. Next step and then you gotta wait. It's like, what if you forget to press the next step, right? And you just keep waiting and it's not working. 
So I wish you could just press load and it will just do everything for you. What is wrong with my camera? What is wrong with my camera? It's glitching. Is my, is my lens broken? Is my camera broken? What is wrong with my camera? I'm not touching anything. <gasps> Look at that. It's, oh my God, it's coming down. Okay, so <laughs> something is wrong with my camera. What is wrong with my camera? I'm so sorry. What is wrong? With Look at that. It's extruding, but it looks like it's extruding very bad stuff. Are you working on a project and don't have the power to power that project? Well, here I am. Scratch 3 battery. It ranges from 1S, 2S, 3S, and all the way to 4S battery pack 18650 high quality pack from scratch 3 battery if your project requires all types of battery i got you cover all types of connection i got you cover all the way from xt60 to jstxh 2.54 millimeter jstxm dean connectors all types of connector balance charger anything you need scratch 3d battery have it link will be in the description down below on my ebay store okay as you saw there it was pretty simple to take off the extruder from the chidi q2 3d printer i also like the little cover that they have there so that you can see what is going on with the filament and you don't have to take off the whole extruder that is a pretty cool design which i like a lot taking off the extruder on the chidi q2 isn't that hard like on the other 3d printers because it doesn't have the small spring for the filament detector like some other 3d printers have and it is a pretty simple extruder design which is my opinion more easier to maintenance if it's clogged but that'll be it for this video of me showing you how to unclog the chidi q2 3d printer if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming and if you haven't yet become a member of the youtube channel it helps me tremendously and as always keep on 3d printing